In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to download a file that a teacher has shared with you so that you can add your own content to that particular file. So after logging into Office 365, you're going to click on OneDrive. Once your documents have loaded, you're going to look on the left hand side over here where it says shared with me. Anytime a teacher or fellow student shares a document with you, this is where it will show up. It won't show up in your regular documents. So these are the documents that have been shared with me. However, when a teacher shares a document with you, you will have view access only. You won't be able to make changes to the document until you download a copy and put it in your own OneDrive. Now keep in mind you can only go through this process if you have synced your OneDrive to your physical tablet. So now that we're in OneDrive, what we're going to do is we're going to click on these three dots, this little ellipse, next to a document that we want to be able to edit and make changes to. So when you click on that, you're going to scroll over to this little button underneath here that says Menu. You're going to click on the drop down menu and you're going to click download a copy. Now I'm using Internet Explorer right now which is what is suggested you use for this process because it will save you some steps but if you choose another browser this might not pop up this little menu here at the bottom that's going to give you the ability to save to your OneDrive. So we're going to click on the little drop down next to this and we're going to go to save as not save and what this is going to do is it's going to bring up the window and it's going to allow us to choose where do we want to save. Remember when we performed that one time sync? Now we can save this back to our OneDrive by clicking on OneDrive for Business and if you've created folders in OneDrive you could double click a folder or you could just save directly to OneDrive. So we have a name for it and we're going to click Save. So now we have a copy in OneDrive. Let's check it out click on the X to close this preview and now we need to come back over to our OneDrive we're no longer going to be in the shared with me section we're clicking on OneDrive and once our OneDrive documents load now you can see we have a copy of this document in our own OneDrive and now we're going to be able to make changes and we're going to be able to edit and we're going to add our own content to it so if we click on the document the document loads but remember we can't add any text to this document yet until we come up to this left hand side where it says edit document and click edit in word online and this is going to give us all the formatting tools that we need to add our own content so if we scroll down on this document you see I have a cursor that's blinking I can put my cursor where I want and I can start typing and adding my own content to this document and it's as simple as that downloading a copy, putting a copy in your own OneDrive, and then you're ready to go.